Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 7.15 from Sadiku book. So the question is find VT. VT is the voltage across this capacitor. And VOT, VOT is the output of this circuit, this op M circuit, uh, with respect to time in this circuit. Okay, now we have switch here, which is at first it's open, and then it will be closed at T is equal. To zero. So we will have two cases. The first one is before the switch is closed and the second one is after the switch is closed. So let's see for each case. So I will have the first case which is before the switch is closed. And when is before the switch is closed it is when t is less than zero okay now let's see what condition do we have here we have obviously the switch is open so we have the switch is open and i'm assuming that this circuit has been open for a long time so, so I will have the circuit in DC condition. So we'll have DC condition. And DC condition means that capacitor becomes open circuit. Okay, so now we have these three conditions. And I will draw the circuit that represent these three condition. Okay, let's draw the circuit and continue after that. Okay, now I have drawn the circuit that represent the condition when T is less than zero. So we will have this voltage source and this resistor is gone because the switch is open. So I did not draw it here. And then we have this capacitor as open circuit. And this is still V because the capacitor is parallel to the resistor. So this, this V becomes the voltage between this node and this node. Okay, so now let's do what can we calculate from here. Okay, if we see here, the positive input of the op amp is connected to the ground. And ground means that this voltage here will equal to zero and so I will have this voltage here is also zero so I will have V here is also zero and now let's do the characteristic of the op amp so I will have the current that goes here and and I want to calculate the current that goes there. Okay. So now I want to calculate here. Let's name this as not A. So I want to use KCL at not A. KCL at not A. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay the current that goes in there is no current that goes in so I will just put zero on the left hand side and then the currents that goes out there are two currents that goes out this one and that one so for this one is going into the op amp and from the characteristic of the op amp here I will have it as zero so I'll have zero and another current goes out here so I will have plus that current here is VA minus V0 divided by 100 kilo ohm. So VA, VA, remember that VA is 0. So we'll have VA is 0. And let's simplify this. So I will have 0 is equal to minus V0 divided by 100k and so from here we can clearly see that 
here phi zero is equal to zero. So this means that phi zero is zero for t is less than zero. So because the voltage cannot change instantaneously, we can approach it with phi zero at time zero is equal to zero. And this will be our initial condition for the second case when t is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so now let's save this initial condition and we need to see the second case. Okay, now let's take a look at the second case. So we'll have second case. And when is the second case happens? It is when t is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Now at this time, we have the switch is closed. And the other is still as is. So let's draw the circuit that represent that condition. Okay, I think to save space, I just use this figure instead. So I replace this switch with short circuit. Okay, now let's see what can we get from here. And this one is connected to the ground. So V here is equal to zero. And then we have this characteristic of the op amp. So the positive input is connected to the ground. So we will have the voltage here is zero and that means that the voltage here will also equal to zero right and i want to name that not there as not a okay and i want to assume the direction of the current so i will have this going there okay that's not good so i will have blue instead so that's going there and this going there and this going there and this going there okay so now we have all the current set up i want to do kcl at not a I want to do KCL at node A and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There is only one current that goes in which is this one and this one is this voltage here which is 4 millivolt so I will just write 4 millivolt minus V is equal to 0. So I will have 0 here. And then divided by 10k. So I have 10k. And then the and then we need to calculate the currents that goes out. So the first one is the currents that goes to into the op amp. And the currents that goes in into the op amp is equal to 0 because of the op amp characteristic. So I will have 0 here. And the second one is the one who is going to pass through this capacitor. And remember that the currents that pass through capacitor is equal to I is equal to C dV over dt. Okay. So our C is 1 micro. So let's rewrite that. 1 micro. And then D over dt of V. V is here and V is the difference between this node and this node. So I can rewrite that as this node is 0 and that node is V0. Okay. And then we still have one more current here. So I just write it here. And that current that passed through this 100 kilo ohm resistance is 0 minus VO divided by 100 kilo okay so now let's do some algebra to simplify this equation so i will have 4 milli divided by 10k and then that will equal to 
this minus can go to the front so you have minus one micro d v0 over dt and then this one will be minus v0 over 100 kilo okay now let's save this differential equation and clean the whiteboard to see what can we do okay now i have this differential equation but this is maxi because we have milli kilo micro and what else and then i want to multiply all of this all of this by 1 million so i multiply all of this by 10 to the 6 to remove this one micro okay so that will means that we have this one then 10,000 will cancel out into 10 to the fourth so I will have on the left hand side for micro is 4 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 and then 10 kilo will cancel out with this 10 to the 6 so I will have 10 to the 2 right yeah okay and this one will be 0 0.4 okay so I will write 0 0.4 in the left hand side and 1 micro multiplied by 10 to the 6 is 1 so I will just have the dv0 over dt so I will have minus dv0 over dt and this one will be minus 100k will be cancelled with this one so I will have 10 v0 10 v0 and I can multiply both sides by minus 1 so I will have this is positive and this is positive and the negative one will be on the left hand side okay so from this messy differential equation we have this neat differential equation so for this differential equation we can solve this using a techniques that we multiply both sides by e to the 10 t why we can see later right so i will have minus 0 0.4 e to the 10 t that will equal to e to the 10 t then we have d v0 divided by dt and then we will have this one is 10 e to the 10 t of v0 okay now we will have this differential equation here and we need to see carefully here if we name this as u and we differentiate this we will have 10 to the 10 multiplied by e to the 10 t so this is the derivative of this u so i'll have u prime and if i name this v the derivative of it with respect to time will be this one dv0 over dt so this is the v prime and u v prime plus u prime v is a differentiation for function multiplication so we'll have i can take out the differentiation and get the multiplication of a function so we'll have minus 0 0.4 e to the 10 t and i can take out d over dt d over dt and this is the multiplication of u and v so i will have e to the 10 t multiplied by v0 Okay, I can move this dt to the left hand side so I will have this here and I will have here dt so from here we can integrate both sides right so here I can integrate both sides so on the left hand side I will have this one minus 0 0.4 divided by 10 that will be 
what is it? 0 0.04 e to the 10 t. And I want to put the integration constant on the left hand side. So I put C1 here. And to the right hand side, I will have e to the 10 t multiplied by V0. Okay. That's good enough. So I can divide both sides by e to the 10t. So I can divide both sides by e to the 10t. Okay, so I will have this one here as minus 0 0.04 plus c1 over 10t or I can rewrite that as negative exponent. So I will have C1 e to the minus 10 t and that will equal to V0 and V0 is a function of time right so I'll have V0 as a function of time is equal to I want to put that behind that e so I will have or I just leave it as is. So I will have minus 0 0.04 plus C1 e to the minus 10 t. And the unit is volt. Okay, so now we have a task to find out this C1. How to find C1? We have that initial condition. So we can do that by using substitution. So I will clean this whiteboard first. So now I have this function and the initial condition. So when I have V O zero, we will have zero. And this means that when we plug this zero into this function, we will have zero. So we'll have minus 0 0.04 plus C1 e to the minus 10 multiplied by zero because T is zero is equal to zero. So I will have this one e to the minus 10 multiplied by 0 will cancel out into 1, right? Because anything with the power of 0 is equal to 1. So I will have C1. Okay, let's use blue C1 here. So I will have C1 is equal to 0 0.04. Okay, now, so because C1 is 0 0.04, I can rewrite that V O T is equal to minus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04 e to the minus 10 T. And the unit is 4. But we are asked also to find V T. But V T is easy enough to find because v is equal to v here 0 minus v o so that means that this is just the inverse of v o so we'll have v t is just the negative of this function so we'll have 0 0.04 plus uh, minus yeah minus 0 0.04 e to the minus 10 t 4 and this is 4 t is greater than 0 so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation this is the final answer this one and this one So do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye bye.